Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, we're going to be giving advice to a middle-aged man on how to buy a suit. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. And if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. In addition, always make sure, if you haven't already, to grab my free 47-page ebook. You probably don't need multiple copies, but pass it on to your friends. I appreciate it. It's a great ebook. And last but not least, I'm going to link you to an article which is going to expand on suits. And I'll try to keep the advice here to be pretty much timeless and applicable to different body types. And all right, so this is the question that came in. Antonio, I'm a 45 year old man, five foot nine and 185 pounds. I typically wear a 44 short jacket. I'm wondering what style jacket is best for my body weight and height? Can you go ahead and give me a little bit more advice? And I want to make sure that I'm buying the actual right style and uh, the right type. Okay, so pretty quick question. And he's got, it's a pretty easy answer. I could give you the exact specific answer, but I want to go through the logic of how I would choose this jacket. The first thing that was missing from this and what I would ask a man who's, let's say, and this gentleman's 45 years old, so he's at probably the height of his professional career. It's before that we, you know, you've got 20 to 30 years of work uh, time in front of you. You've already got possibly 20 years of experience. So this is the point which many consider to be kind of like the highlight of a man's uh, working career. Uh, you've got enough energy to go off and start a company, but at the same time, you've got enough experience to know which companies not to start. So. With this in mind, the first thing I would ask this gentleman is what is his career? I mean, because this if this is a gentleman is a gentleman, <laughs> if this is a gentleman that's in a creative field, I know I'm gonna have a lot more play versus if this gentleman's in finance or banking, which is technically a lot more conservative. Is he a lawyer and is he getting up in front of a judge and a jury, or is he a master plumber? And he rarely ever throws on a suit except for, you know, big and important events. So that would be my first question. And so I can't give him a great answer, one specific to him without knowing that. Uh, the other thing I, I'm going to be looking at is I want to look at where he carries his weight. So he's five foot nine, 185 pounds. So he's about my size, a little bit heavier. And I'm wondering, okay, is this guy in great shape? Is most of his weight up here in the chest? In the, uh, is he really muscular? Or is he carrying it, and most men do, in the midsection? They're carrying a little bit of a gut, nothing, you know, nothing scary, nothing that's going to get a whole lot of people, you know, nothing's going to get you kicked off an airline flight, but enough that he's a bit conscious about it because he remembers his body how it was when he was 18. So, Taking those two things in consideration, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a ledge and I'm going to believe that he's in a professional career, that he this isn't his only suit, that he wears one fairly often. And the other thing is that he's carrying the weight in and around the gut. So I'm going to recommend probably the style for him is going to be two buttons. And I'm going to go with two buttons because I want a little bit of a deeper V here. I want to elongate, apparently make the chest look a little bit longer. So this is going to be good. It allows you to have a little bit of a stomach, but still but still conceal it just a bit. Uh, when it comes to the sleeves, since he's, I, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, probably regular sleeves. He doesn't want to slim these up. Slimmer sleeves are for younger men. Uh, so he'll want to keep the sleeves. You know, don't go for a slim cut jacket or anything like that. The lapels, go for probably regular classic notch lapels. He doesn't need to be going for peak lapels or anything like that, which is a bit fashion forward. Let's talk about the vents on the jacket. I've done an entire video on vents, but in this case, I'm going to recommend the double vent for this gentleman. It sounds like he doesn't have enough weight that he has to worry about, you know, having a bubble butt or basically uh, the back of those vents protruding out kind of like a ducktail. On the other hand, he doesn't want to go with a no vent because he sounds like if he's got a little bit of weight in the midsection, he wants to probably be able to put his hands in his pockets and not have to worry about that. So we've talked about the buttons. We've talked about the sleeves. We've talked about the lapels. We've talked about the vents. Um, I, I would say the pockets. Now, he does, if he's buying off the rack, he's probably not going to have a whole lot of options here, but he'll want to go with classic pockets. He's not going to want to go with anything with a ticket pocket. A ticket pocket's just going to draw a bit more attention to that midsection. So, he'll want to go with, 
you know, no ticket pocket. So we've talked about all the style. Now let's talk about the fabrics. The fabrics, I'm going to say darker fabrics because he's wearing a suit and he wants to get the most miles out of it. But besides the charcoal, besides the navy blue, this is going to I would have to probably see his hair color and wondering, you know, maybe he's, let's say he's starting to gray just a bit. And in that case, maybe all those black suits, he should move towards grays, charcoal grays. And those are going to better balance with his hair. And they're going to, they're still going to be formal, but those grays are just going to help to better balance. And that there's not going to be as much of a stark of a contrast. And it's actually going to hide the gray in his hair just a bit better because it's going to look more uniform versus it's kind of like if you have yellow teeth and you hold up a white sheet to it, you will see that you have really yellow teeth. Now, if you have graying hair and you hold up a black or really dark navy to that, you're going to be able to spot the grays a lot easier. So in that case, that's why he would want to go with charcoal gray, gray, and maybe even some medium gray for the summer. All right, so that's my bit of advice for this gentleman when he wants to look at the styles of the suits and the jackets. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't talk about trousers. I would say maybe a single pleat. That would be, you know, kind of best of both worlds. I like double pleats. I know a lot of people don't, but for a gentleman who's middle-aged, double pleats work great. Just keep them close. Make sure they're tapered fine. Uh, flat fronts, when you're starting to get that little bit of a stomach, it's going to be harder to wear those. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.